Guys, I don't think I'm ready. I don't think you guys are ready, but I feel like all of us need to have this kind of moment before we get into this conundrum, which is what I would like to call it, because we do have a lot to get into. But before we get into this, we all need to have a quick moment. So if you would all like to join me in this moment, please, I would appreciate it. Thank you. I actually might get emotional. I think I might start crying, but... Okay. Guys. That was a lot, guys. Now let's get into this. Miss Lucy appears to be bashing and completely shading Amber, and this is very interesting. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. It appears that Love Island from this summer is not going to rest, so clearly I am not going to rest either. Now, before I do again this video, please do subscribe, click that button. Oh, that was a moment. That was a whole, it wasn't even a moment. You know when it, it's not even a situation. You know when it just becomes a whole function. Like it's just guests, attendees, food, chat, everything. It was just, it was a whole function. Please do subscribe, click that button for daily and consistent content and let's get into this video. Now of course we all know about the whole Joe and Amber stuff and Lucy and Joe have broken up and etc etc etc. But what it also appears is that now Lucy is shading Amber by liking tweets on Twitter that are against Amber. Now before I get in this video, quick disclaimer, please do not send any hate to Amber or Lucy. Please do not send any hate involved in this entirety of the video or anybody involved. So this is just for us to address current affairs, talk about it, and then go about our day. But these tweets are actually very interesting and this is what she appears to be liking. This is one of the tweets. So much for Amber and Girl Code. She barely was ever with a bloke she generally liked on Love Island and now she's just swooping in on Joe. And as for Joe, he's just broke up with Lucy and he's already hitting on other girls. Shame on him. Another tweet was, if you saw a picture of your boyfriend this close with a girl, how would you feel? Where's the girl code in that? I would have dumped his ass too and threw my shoe at the girl's head. Poor Lucy. So what she's doing is liking these tweets, obviously exclaiming and kind of subtly shading Amber in a way saying that she doesn't have any girl code, that she was barely with any, that she jumps around with different guys and that she would have thrown also, you know, a shoe at the girl's head. This is something that I find to be crazy, but I find it very rich and also very, not even rich, I find it very hypocritical, sorry, that Lucy is talking about girl code. Where was your girl code when Tommy and Molly Mae were together and you tried to swoop in on that? Whether you were talking about producers or not, clearly if you had your girl code, you would not have conformed to what they were saying and you would have done what you wanted to have done if that girl code was really in your spirit. But clearly it wasn't. And now it seems that something is like this happening to you. Of course, if Joe and Lucy have already broken up, um, then I don't see what the major issue was, especially when there was already spark between these two in the beginning. It just seems like Lucy has lost both Tommy and Joe and it is what it is. Move on to the next 
What I'm saying is I'm team Amber, I'm team, I'm not even team Amber, nor am I team Lucy. I'm team me, myself, and I all day, every day. But I'm team Amber when it comes to this whole situation. I find this to be, you know, something quite hypocritical from her past because she had done the same and did not have any girl code. And now we're seeing the same thing is coming back to her. But she's saying that if see Amber has no girl code, that she should be thrown at her or whatever, or endorsing this kind of behavior. I wouldn't say she's saying it herself. And I find it to be quite interesting because these tweets are obviously going in on Amber and you're happily liking all of them and just endorsing all of this behavior when really and truly you broke up with the guy so what is the issue I don't understand this is not that really serious and these two already had a spark beforehand and of course it's been caught cool. I think the guy who took that video um, Joe was angry and tried to get kicked out and got kicked out and I'm just like you're in a public setting first and foremost so people are going to be snapping you if you are on the flipping biggest show on this planet let me relax the biggest show in Europe, for sure, the biggest show in the UK, definitely. And if you are two people who nobody really expects to get together and you're kissing, people are going to, you know, take videos or talk about it or whatever. And, you know, it is what it is. You sign up for that show and this stuff comes with it. So I don't understand why you're telling somebody to be kicked out and you got the guy kicked out. I don't know what you were doing. And I feel like you aren't anybody to be running stuff like this. What you should be doing is kissing this individual in private, in a hotel room, in an enclosed place. You have houses, child. You have all this money now from these new deals. Why are you doing it in the club and then expecting for more privilege by saying please don't take pictures, whatever, cool, that's entitled and you're entitled to your privacy, whatever, but you're not entitled to kick somebody out of a public space and setting. That's exactly what apparently happened from this guy's snaps, he was ranting or whatever, I didn't even know. Maybe they wanted to be cool, I don't even know Charles did, I'm just tired. I'm just letting you all know what's going on. Lucy's doing the madness right now, I don't know what Lucy's doing, but she's clearly doing something and she's just, I don't know what's going on. Let me know what your thoughts are, please do subscribe, click that button for daily consistent content. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'll catch you guys soon for another video.